What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another selection on Monday. We are taking a look at the new Booster Legends. You've got Puyol, you've got Cassius, and you have Ed Nielsen. And I'll tell you lads, this Puyol is going to shake the meta up. He is an absolute unit, a monster at the back. And with his booster, his player skills and his player ID, his height, his weight, his strength, his physicality and his unique blend of tackling and aggression, he's going to be one of the best in my opinion, one of the best centre-backs in the game, one of the best destroyers. Cassius, I'm a little bit disappointed with. We'll get into that in a second after this trailer plays through. But I am a little bit disappointed with Cassius. I don't think this is a great version of him. Um, even though there's one amazing stat that he has, which could, could save him a little bit, right? But you know what you're going to be getting with a smaller base goalkeeper. It's a lot of reflexes and a lot of good saves. We also have Ed Mielsen, who's down as an anchorman. His booster is going to be... A really, really nice booster as well. The same as Puyol. They both have the same boosters from that school of Barcelona. And uh, I do think that Ed Mielsen is going to be all about kind of like that kind of uh, Gilberto Silva type play style, right? Where he's going to be just a complete blocker, a stopper, and he's got everything that you could possibly want for that, right? So we're going to get into the cards, right? We, uh, we will be live streaming later as well. I've already covered Bellingham, who I think is going to be a game changer for a lot of people that are not used to playing with attacking midfielders that can shoot very effectively. And I've covered the Showtime Spanish League attackers and all that selection. But now we are going to be focusing on Puyol, Casillas and Ed Mielsen. These are part of this pack. And from this, we're going to have a lucky dip of two players that we're going to look at as well. If you want me to focus on any other players to do a training guide for any specific player, as ever, lads, I'm at your disposal. So let me know and I will get on that as quickly as I possibly can. And of course, we'll be doing it in the live stream as well, right? But we are going to focus firstly on Casillas, right? So I'm a little bit disappointed with him. As I said, his booster is only going to do so much for this card. He's got unwavering form. He's on B rating, but he has got 30 levels. And of course, he's got low punt and long throw, which is nice. But the big thing about him, lads, is that no matter what you do with this card, even with the booster and you train him up, you are not going to have more than two stats into the 90s with this card. Well, you will with the boost, like with the actual boost, you will. But I always like to have, you know, the main stat at least 90, forgetting about all the rest of the stats. Now, one thing that saves him, and it's kind of like a little kind of, how would you say it? Like kind of a, yeah, a saving grace of this card is the fact that you can max out his jump. You will see there. Um, so what we've done here is popped 13 into goalkeeper 1, 8 into goalkeeper 2, 9 into goalkeeper 3, and then 3 into aerial strength, right? That's going to give us 88, 82, 80, 92, 88, and 98 for the jump. Look, it's a good card, man. Even taking in the booster into consideration, you are going to be getting a boost to goalkeeper awareness, catching, clearing, and reflexes, right? So his reflexes are going to be 94. His goalkeeper awareness is going to be 90, and his jump is going to be 98. I definitely think he's going to be a strong card, and he'll play way above his stats, right? When you have a goalkeeper that's about 185 or below, um, you do need to have a lot into reflexes, and you need to have a really high jump for that to kick in different animations, I see a lot of people go on about play style. I see a lot of people go on about, you know, different things in a card. But the most important thing in any card in any position, in my opinion, is positioning. How the AI behaves when you're not controlling it, because that's 90% of the time. And also, his core stats being maxed out as best as you possibly can, right? So that is three things just to keep in mind. I've covered that in that Anchorman and Destroyer video. If you want to check that out, please do. But we also do have to take a look at the other goalkeepers and compare them. And it's kind of like a... I just don't see it with Casillas, lads. There's been better versions of Casillas that have been out there, right? That brings us on to Ed Mielsen, right? So if we go back here to in-game and we take a look at the DMF beast that is Ed Mielsen, his booster is going to be dueling plus two, which is going to be a boost and a plus two increase to the player stats, defensive awareness, tackling speed and stamina, right? And it's activated at all times. Obviously, they haven't brought in that it's going to be temporary or permanent yet, but that's going to be kind of a new thing that they do bring in. And he's got really good player skills, that's right. He's got no um, real weaknesses here. He's got interception, man marking, area superiority, apart from blocker, right? You will need to give this guy blocker, which, again, is a little bit of a pity on this card. I'm a little bit frustrated that he doesn't have blocker here because he has everything else that you could possibly want. But also, when you look a little bit deeper, he doesn't have fighting spirit either, man, and he doesn't have one-touch pass. So if you do sign him, yes, you're going to be getting a beastly player, as we see here with his stats, but you're going to have to put a lot of work into him, man. And, and especially if you've been playing the game for a long time, you might have a couple of players that you can kind of sacrifice to put into Ed Mielsen to give him blocker and to give him fighting spirit and to give him one-touch pass. But I just feel like at this stage in the game, 
Um, I think a lot of new players that are going to be coming out, like in over the Christmas and stuff, are going to be much better, unless it's somebody that's completely unique that they might not re-release before or again, uh, such as the new Bellingham that we saw, which is uh, the Showtime Bellingham, or, of course, we will take a look at Puyol, right? So there's two things I want to talk about with Puyol. He's been one of my favourite players. I actually have him back in my squad, my current squad, the original legend Puyol that I signed day one on eFootball 2022. If you want to see him in action and you want to see me spinning for uh, this guy later on, uh, head on over to the live stream. Make sure and like and subscribe as well. But this booster is going to be the same. It's going to be plus two to the dueling. It's going to be defensive awareness, tackling speed and stamina. Speed and stamina, I would prefer not to have on this card uh, as a booster. I would have preferred aggression or else even acceleration and heading um, to make him truly unique, right? But look at this card, man. It's an insane card. Really, really strong card across the board. Heading, man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit. Insane. And he's down as a destroyer. That's what you want from your destroyer. You want at least aggression and defensive engagement to be at least around 88, 89 mark, which he does have, right? Now, when we do actually train Puyol up, we're going to see one thing that um, is just something to keep an eye on, right? And that is a decision you need to make in regards to his acceleration, right? Because with the booster, okay... With the booster here, we're going to have these stats on offer, which are going to be defensive awareness. That's going to be getting a plus two. The tackling is going to be getting a plus two. And then, of course, his aggression and defensive engagement are maxed out. So you're going to have defensive engagement, uh, defensive awareness 90, tackling 96, and aggression and defensive engagement 99. You're also going to have jump at 97, header at 83, backed up by the player skills that he already has, which he has every player skill for winning the ball in the air, even though he's only 178 centimeters compared to the likes of Van Dijk, Varane, or any of those big beastly uh, center backs. He's also got 89 physical contact, and this is all without the manager boost, without the team playstyle boost, without all of that, right? And while they work on that issue, because it is a little bit busted at the moment, I have a video done on it. His speed and acceleration are the only two things here, right? So if you are playing Puyol as your kind of main... Uh, ball winning destroyer type aggressive type player that you're tra chasing everything this is the best build from in my opinion uh where we've popped the only other stat we've popped into is four into goalkeeper one to get that jump up okay but the rest of the stats are insane now what i would do if you are just playing him as kind of like your sitting center back and you don't want him to be too aggressive i would actually take this down to 78 as well that will give you two extra points and that will mean that you will be able to throw that into goalkeeper one and that'll give you 98 jump. Now, why I would do this is um, sometimes with Puyol, I would try and get his jump as high as possible because he seems to be very aggressive in the air. He goes up for a lot of headers. Um, it just the ball seems to be a magnet to him. So just keep an eye out for that. Of course, if you are playing him as a third man center back, I would definitely not take his speed and acceleration under 75. Now, you will be getting the boost, right, with the speed and the stamina. So you could technically, um, you know, go the opposite route then as well and give him 83 acceleration and only two into lower body strength will give you 73 speed plus the two boost, which is 75, because you're not going to be running large distances or covering a lot of ground as a center back, especially as a deep lines kind of center back, right? Even though he's very aggressive. So let me know what you guys think, lads. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip for Puyol for Casillas and Ed Mielsen. We also have just a quick look at these two boys as well, um, if we can get them up. There's a couple of good players in here um, that I would say are worth it, worth spinning for, or worth actually looking at. Um, but to be honest with you, I do feel like that these are the three main kind of packs um, that people are going to be looking at. So uh, we will take a look at Rudiger and Blind and Akuna later on, but those are the three main guys there. So don't forget to like and subscribe, lads. I will be back later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.